So, we're doing a Saber Tiger unboxing. This is probably going to be the last one for a while until more um, HMMs are released because I'm really having some trouble with getting any that are not just interesting to me to build but also that I can actually afford to do. So I'm going to be looking at this today. This is the Schwartz version, obviously. Then I'm doing just a really quick unboxing because as the last Zoid that uh, I'm going to be building for a while, I kind of want to go really, really crazy with a lot of its detail. It looks really, really impressive. Like, I really, really like the black Zoids. There you go. Better picture. Hand tremor. Sorry. And as always, we got the back. So this is one of my favorite, um, my favorite boxes actually, for art. God, it's shiny. Because there's a lot of uh, feature. There's a lot of detail. I don't even know what that is. What the fuck is that? Like I get the statue of a chariot, but what the fuck is pulling it? That's some weird ass armor. And of course we have uh Carl Schubaltz. Then we have Emperor Rudolph and of course Prozen. So that's cool. If you ever watched the anime uh KX Century, you will know these guys. Let's see if I can actually open this because we know how shitty I am at managing to the opening these. I'm just hoping this one's easier. Oh it is easier. Oh I kinda disrupted some stuff. So, we have some familiar parts from uh, building so many models. This is an ammo belt that I am very, very familiar with. I've seen it on the Dark Horn and I've seen it on the Great Saber. And of course we have parts for that, which are going to be colored rubber. And this is interesting because this is not the red. It's, it's brighter red, like it looks brilliant red on the camera. But it looks like the same kind of red that is on the regular Saber Tiger. It is the same red on the Saber Tiger. And I'm not too like fond of that because, I mean, I guess, oh sorry. I guess it does kind of look kind of bright red on this, but it, I don't know. I probably will leave it alone. I don't feel like going over it with really, really bright, like, cherry paint. Just for the sake of it. Uh, this is gun parts. Guns and teeth, and I think I see... Yeah, that's a gun part. That's... These are more, so familiar to me. I have made so many guns, so many Zoids, that I can look at a part, and I know exactly where it goes and what color it has because of that. Ah, oh, the infamous elbows and knees. Ooh. And then we got some metallic parts, which I'll leave alone because it's actually good. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do gold or silver. I could have sworn that the Schwartz Tiger had golden teeth and claws. The sharp teeth again! So we'll see what that does. Ah, feet parts. All this. Everything. More PC. And then more foot parts. So that's all the standard stuff that we usually see. Oh, I dropped one. Ugh. That we see in normal, like, Saber Tiger. Except for, you know. These. This this is the great saber parts. Yes. Then we get to the main body part. This is definitely the main part uh, of the body. That's the head, actually. This is the jaw parts. There's the head, the sides of the head. <laughs> so many saber tigers. This will be my third saber tiger. I might but I might get a third one, just a regular one to paint blue. More parts of the body. This one thing. And here we got parts that are familiar to me because of the dark horn. This is the uh, 
the gigantic gun. So same parts for the, the dark horse. So I know exactly how to do that. The body parts are actually for the armor. It's very nice, like it's not gloss, but it's not like a matte finish. It's more like satin, but it's a nice black, but not too dark. But it's definitely black. I like it. And more body parts. Actually, the butt parts. I like that. So the hips. All right. We got a book, and of course, we got stickers. We got two of these stickers, and the decals that I'll never use. This is a nice book. If you can hear outside, it's it's a nice day. It's it's 90 degrees. It's a picture from the original Saber Tiger book. Only the Schwartz version. Whee! I'm sorry, my hand is unsteady. And then what it would look like all done. And of course all this detailing stuff. They always put this stuff in. This is stuff that you probably seen when I was unboxing the great Zaver. Parts that if I break we'll never use. And this is just the same, the same Zoid. Nothing different. I'm wondering if, uh, if this is before the uh, upgrades because, as you remember, I said when I was doing the great, uh, the great saber review that they had made some changes. Here we go, and they had improved on some parts. So that's a total of what 90, yeah, 92, 92 moves. So there's that. More detail, more detail. But, and I'm wondering if this was, oh shit. And I'm wondering if this was before they did that or not, or if it has all the, the changes that they made for the, the elbows and the knees, or if I'm just gonna scream in agony. And all the colors. I'm trying to get all the colors all in one frame, but it, I don't know. I'm just getting over pneumonia. <laughs> I'm finally able to talk without coughing too much at least this is gonna be fun to paint I, I like how they give me this so I can I can detail completely what I want to the fullest extent or I can just keep going and and do it like my own design so it's a little uh, it's a little over the top and of course the back All this fun stuff. This it looks it looks like a, a fun zoid to build. And I know at least on its own, this is a really, really cool zoid. I I love the Saber Tiger. So I am really excited to finally be building not just another Zoid, but again, another Saber Tiger. Yeah, my boyfriend likes to give me so many Freaking zoids to build. I'm actually kind of upset. I dropped. Uh, we ended up dropping on accident my red s sniper, and it kind of died. So I used it in a photo op with my great saber that it had slaughtered it. But um, yes. So great saber. Gonna build it. Yes. Give me a couple months, cause it's gonna take that. Bye bye.